What's up guys, DBC4G here, and in this video, we're gonna be turning the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus into the Nexus 6P. Let's get started. Samsung's actually made it super easy for us to uh, make this change um, throughout the actual device instead of the home screen this time. Uh, if you remember my last video where it was turning the Note 4 into a Nexus 6, we're now turning the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus into a Nexus P. This also works for the Galaxy S6, the Galaxy S6 Edge, and the Note 5. Uh, and you can use this to go ahead and convert your device into a LG Nexus 5X or a Nexus 6P. So to start, we're gonna actually hold down on our home screen and jump into the themes section. Uh, the two themes that you're gonna wanna grab are material design and material dark. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with material design. Uh, it's a lighter uh, theme. And you can actually find this by going into the theme store at the bottom here and searching through. And if you scroll through, it's gonna be a good amount of uh, scrolling because there's a lot of uh, crap <laughs> in the in the uh, theme store for Samsung. But you can actually find it just scrolling through it and you'll be able to locate it. I'm gonna go back out here to material design and I'm actually gonna hit apply. We're gonna let this apply. So now as you can see, you drag down from the top for the notification bar you have more of a material design look if you actually jump here into settings the settings more look look more like uh, stock Android at this point but if you look at the home screen and the icons we're still not there yet but don't worry we're gonna get there now the next thing you're gonna want to do there's two things you can actually do at this point you're gonna want to download one of two things either you jump into the Play Store and look up uh, Google's launcher, the Google Now launcher, and you can install this. Actually, what, you, what you'll see is that it'll give you more of a Google Now uh, launcher feel, and this actually gives you what Google's intended uh, launcher is supposed to be for any device or its Nexus devices, but there's a more customized way of getting to this and most of you guys already know if you watch my note 4 video but it's Nova Launcher and I highly recommend grabbing the Nova Launcher Prime uh, it gives you access to uh, paid only features like gestures and, and more so we're gonna actually download Nova Launcher Prime is just an unlocker for Nova Launcher so we're gonna download no Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna back hit the home button and what it'll do is gonna go automatically give us an option to select Nova Launcher as our default home screen. And now you'll see things starting to shape up in more of a Nexus type feel. Now the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start to, uh, you can either stick with the wallpaper that you get with um, that you get with Nova, I actually get rid of that. You can stick with the wallpaper that you get with Nova or you could even, if you wanted to, go in and grab, and I actually downloaded it, but you can actually grab the Nexus P's actual wallpaper. We're gonna go ahead and set this one. Boom. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move these icons out. Create, get that button in there. If you wanted to take the experience all the way, get rid of these. If you wanted to take the experience all the way, you could actually jump back into the Play Store and start grabbing yourself some of Google's apps. So if we go ahead and type Google, We see that you can get the keyboard if you wanted to, uh, and it will give you Google's intended keyboard uh, for all their Nexus devices. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Google keyboard. I'm gonna grab Google's Messenger. And this is the default text messaging app for Nexus devices. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna open up the keyboard and get that installed. I'm gonna enable it in settings. Switch to Google Keyboard. Boom, that's set up. And then we get. We could install Calendar and, and all of these other uh, Google apps if we wanted to. Uh, let me go back here. I'm gonna set Messenger as the default uh, messaging app. You could either set Messenger or you could set, we're gonna remove this one that and I'm going to bring messenger down here I'm gonna bring Chrome here and we're gonna grab a Gmail for there now on the Nexus P they also had apps up here you don't really have to uh, go that far if you don't really use like slides and and Google Docs but as you can see you can actually go in here and they're accessible you have Google Docs here um, you know if you wanted the calendar app you can use Google's default calendar app which is actually pretty cool so you might want to look into grabbing Google's calendar app um, Gmail of course comes pre-installed uh, you got your Google, Google Music you got all your Google situations uh, that were actually that actually came on the phone already installed. You could actually use Hangouts too if you wanted to use Hangouts instead. Uh, Hangouts is is the is a default and actually not gonna open Hangouts. <laughs> but Hangouts is actually a default messaging app as well that you could use for Google. But as you can see things are actually starting to shape up and look more like a Nexus P. Um, but now you have yourself a cool Galaxy Nexus P Edge Plus. So before we get out of here, I just want to show you guys one more thing. I went ahead and created all of the folders. I got the Google folder. I got the create folder, uh, the play folder and the play store icon and some of the icons together, like how the Nexus 6P's home screen is uh, with the search bar, you know, the 6P's wallpaper and the button layout or, or icon layout as they are. Uh, what I wanted to do is to quickly show you guys some of the settings that I used and you can use them or you can tweak this to your own liking. For the desktop grid, I went with a 6x5. The icon layouts, I went with 120 for the icon size. All icon sizes, I went with 120. All fonts, I changed them to normal. Uh, the size is really dependent on yourself. Uh, but for all fonts, I went with normal and the icon sizes are all 120. I left width, padding, and height all alone. Scroll, you can do that on your own. You can choose whatever you'd like. Let's jump into app widgets. The grid is another 6x5. Uh, icon layouts, like I said, 120. Font normal, size, however you guys would really like to uh, go about that. Um, let's see here, the draw style. You can do horizontal or vertical. Uh, with 6.0 Marshmallow, they're going vertical with their uh, app draw style. We're going to wait for Nova to get updated to the uh, cooler vertical style. This vertical style is kind of lame, so I'm going to stick with horizontal for this. Uh, we're going to leave everything else here pretty much the same. We're going to back out. We're going to jump into dock. The dock, we're going to jump into dock icons, and we're going to leave that at 5. We're going to jump into the layout. Move that to 120 for the icon size and leave everything else the same. Uh, we're going to also leave all other settings within Doc the same. The look and feel, as I mentioned before, is going to just have the lollipop theme as opposed to system settings themes. And again, you can download so many cool Android Marshmallow or lollipop theme, uh, lollipop 
um, icon themes. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and jump into one right now uh, that I personally like. Uh, let's see, it is Moonshine Icon Pack. I'm gonna go ahead and install this icon pack. It's a really cool icon pack. You guys can install this one or any other one that you'd like to. Uh, I'll keep updating doing these kinds of videos so you'll eventually see all of the icon packs that I personally like to use. But we're gonna go ahead and open up this icon pack. Uh, and you can see some of the cool, really cool icons that are included in this icon pack. And there's lots, there's a whole lot of icons. So we're gonna jump out of here. We're gonna go back into um, look and feel, theme, and then just select moonshine instead of lollipop. And it's super easy, it's that easy. And now you'll see a lot of these icons have switched up a little bit because Moonshine is also a lollipop-ish type theme. So you'll see some of the icons have uh, actually switched, like the create icons, those kind of switched up, got a little darker, better for this AMOLED, uh, this amazing screen on this six edge. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. If you like the content, please go ahead and hit like. Leave me a comment below if you actually went this route, if you did. What apps did you install? Did you use Google's apps? Did you use your own apps, your own messaging apps? Did you use uh, the stock messenger that came with the phone because you like something better than another? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but until next time, I will catch you guys in the next one. You know what I mean? Um, and then even a user, I guess, could use that. They yeah. could put up a picture of them and their significant other, uh, their partner. And uh, and then have it expire back to their per, per profile Perfect. picture the day after. Yeah, you know. Um, so that innovations like that is what help keep what helps to keep Facebook alive. Live Geek Radio.